Good evening. This is Suffrages for the evening of February 16th. A reading from 1 Timothy. I hope to come to you soon, but I am writing these instructions to you so that if I am delayed, you may know how one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and bulwark of the truth. Without any doubt, the mystery of our religion is great. He was revealed in flesh, vindicated in spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, taken up in glory. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, the resplendent light of your truth shines from the mountain top into our hearts. Transfigure us by your beloved Son and illumine the world with your image. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calmness and peace. Grant to us, your children, an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you, in our pain, our weariness, and our anxiety. Surround us with your care, protect us by your loving might, and permit us once more to enjoy health and strength and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for joining me this evening, this Tuesday, the last day before the beginning of Lent. Ash Wednesday is tomorrow evening, and we have a service live on Zoom at 5.30 p.m. In the season of Lent, we will be changing the way we're doing these videos. 
We will no longer be having morning, evening, and night prayer, specifically, though they will still be posted at the same times. What we will instead have is a study prayer, a sung prayer, and a contemplative prayer service. Um, I believe study will be in the morning, singing in the evening, and contemplation at night. And the goal will be to get us used to different ways of engaging in the ways in which we can pray, and give us, for those of us who are listening to the daily offices readings, give us some chance to dig a little bit deeper into what's going on in these texts and why they're being selected for that, that particular day. So I hope that that will be helpful and that it will enrich your life. It will also give you an opportunity in Lent, should you desire to do so, to focus on one of those disciplines. There will also be uh, videos posted very soon for praying the Psalms weekly. Um, although, of course, you could choose to pray only one of those services each uh, week if you prefer. But you could instead pray the Psalms uh, about an hour a day, uh, Sunday through Saturday, and you would pray through the entire book of the Psalms. Um, so the, those videos will be coming as soon as possible. Well, until then, I hope you'll join me again soon. Go in peace, serve the Lord, and God bless you.